Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So if you guys see my video last night, then you would have known we received a bunch of new leaks to do with this month's brand new DLC update, which did confirm a bunch of new missions we'd be receiving, new weapons, new clothing, new tattoos, plus a bunch more. Now the same person who leaked out all of the information yesterday has gone ahead and leaked out more information just a few hours ago which we're going to be taking a closer look at in today's video but not only that I'm also going to be covering some more rare Christmas items that can be found in GTA 5 online as well as the brand new hotfix that Rockstar Games have only just rolled out. So as always if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so if you guys are completely out of the loop of what's going on in gta 5 online as of right now we will be receiving a brand new dlc update this coming tuesday so only in about three days or so we will be receiving all of the new content that i will be speaking about in today's video now what we know so far about the brand new dlc is that a robbery will be involving a sub that's going to be robbing vehicles from the maze bank a cargo ship mission row and and the casino which we do have an image of right now on screen as you guys can see on screen this is going to be the vehicle we are stealing from the casino however we also know we're going to be receiving two or more new weapons 25 or more new tattoos approximately 150 or more clothing items and for last gen players you won't be receiving any new garage space however if you guys are gta plus members on the ps5 or xbox series you will be receiving a free 100 vehicle garage which like i said i will be showcasing on tuesday so you guys can decide then whether you want to become a gta plus member or not now yoshi who went ahead and leaked out all of this information and if you guys aren't aware this guy has been been right on a ton of different leaks in the past to do with the mercenaries dlc and a bunch of the new halloween content got leaked by him also so you don't have to take this with a pinch of salt and this is pretty much confirmed as to what we will be receiving come tuesday now we went ahead and followed up like i said a few hours ago and said a bit more information to share the names of some awards from the dlc we're going to be receiving an award called prep work which is most likely going to be unlocked by completing all of the prep work work for each robbery i do believe these aren't going to be just like simple import export vehicle robberies like we make our way to one location steal a vehicle i think they are going to be more compact like we'll have to go ahead source out different parts scout the area and like this award suggests prep for the missions so we will be getting a brand new award for just prepping these missions we also got another award called getaway vehicles which will be unlocked by going ahead and delivering all five of the getaway vehicles from all five different missions and that is a good way to think about it if you guys can think of the project overthrow missions that rockstar games added in with the mercenaries dlc as i'm sure you guys were aware rockstar games was only adding double money onto them last week however the project overthrow missions were five new missions added into the avenger which like i said were a bit longer than just your standard free mode events and these are going to be very very similar but instead of being launched at the avenger we will be launching these missions from the brand new scrappy property now there is going to be another award known as extra mile i have no idea what that could be maybe by completing these missions more than once so you're going an extra mile we've got another award known as car dealer another award known as weapon arsenal we've got another award known as second hand parts which we do know we're going to have two options when we steal these vehicles we can either sell them to yusuf amir or scrap them and use them for their parts so once you guys go ahead and scrap your first vehicle that's when you guys will be unlocking that award we've got another award known as perfect run which of course is probably by going ahead and completing one of these missions without taking any damage or by inflicting zero percent vehicle damage during the mission and then finally we've got another award known as surprise attack which is most likely going to be unlocked by completing the mission in a specific way now it is worth mentioning when rockstar 
Rockstar Games roll out the brand new DLC on Tuesday and add all of the content. Of course, they won't be adding all of the content on launch day. They often drip feed a bunch of the DLC content in the coming weeks and especially running up to Christmas where we do know we are going to be receiving a bunch of new festive content. Now, the good thing about Rockstar Games is when they roll out the brand new DLC update on Tuesday, they have to go ahead and update all of the background files in order to allow them to drip feed the future content to us over the coming weeks. Now, when they update the background files on Tuesday, even though we can't access them as normal players, data miners will be able to dig into the files and get a better idea with images as well as potentially video of what we can expect to see in the coming weeks with the drip feed content along with all of the new Christmas content. But like I said, it is important you guys do have notifications turned on for my channel, especially come Tuesday as we will have a bunch of leaks to do, like I said, with all of the future content that Rockstar Games will be adding all the way into the new year. Now, of course, today is the 9th of December and we are right around the corner from Christmas. I know a lot of you guys, every time you turn the TV on or go out to the shops, you're seeing the Christmas vibes everywhere and you probably want to start to get into the Christmas spirit in GTA 5 Online. Now, I have been covering a bunch of different rare Christmas items that you guys can acquire in GTA 5. These have included a bunch of rare Christmas vehicles, a bunch of rare Christmas sweaters, and even some Christmas masks. Now, a lot of you guys may be unaware that Rockstar Games have also released some special Christmas hats over the years. As you guys can see on screen, there is four different festive hats that you guys could have unlocked on your character by playing GTA 5 online throughout previous festive updates, one of them being this festive beer hat. Of course, the beer hats for you GTA veterans who will know these were one of the most sought after rare items for a very, very long time in GTA 5 Online. I've played this game on every generation from Xbox 360 all the way up to PS5. If your character had the beer hats way back in the day on GTA 5, that was a serious flex. So like I said, a lot of people are unaware that we can also get a festive version of the beer hats, which as you guys can see on screen, has snowflakes all over it, a few candy canes. I believe that's a reindeer with the green and red colorway. So a pretty decent Christmas hat to go ahead and make outfits with. Now we also have another version here known as the yellow holly beer hat, which as you guys can see on screen, which is very similar to the previous one, but instead of being all green, has a yellow colorway. And instead of the snowflakes, you've got the holly leaves as you guys can see on screen so another pretty decent festive hat that could be found in gta 5 now another festive hat that could be found in gta 5 is this nice christmas cap as you guys can see on screen just has a few christmas decorations around it and you can also get another version of this where it is flipped backwards now like i said in order for you guys to have unlocked these hats you would have had to have played gta 5 online in previous festive updates so all of you guys would have unlocked this green reindeer beer hat by simply just playing gta 5 online last year any point between the 22nd of december up to the 29th now rockstar games also released the yellow holly beer hat last year however they released this after the update going into the new year so although this is a festive hat and as you guys can clearly see is festive themed rockstar games released this hat last year after Christmas had finished. So you guys could also have unlocked this hat if you did play the game late last year. I believe they first dropped it on the 30th of December for a week for you guys to log in and unlock. Now, as far as the third and final festive cap, I do know that this was unlocked during a festive period at some point over the last 10 years. However, I cannot remember for the life of me what festive update this nice cap was unlocked. I had a quick look online as well, and I really couldn't find anything concrete saying when Rockstar Games released this Christmas cap. And because I have had the same GTA 5 character since launch day, like I said, it could have literally been at any point over the last 10 years so that's why i'm interested to hear from you guys on this one do any of you guys also have this rare nice christmas cap unlocked for your character and do any of you guys have any idea as to when rockstar games released it into the game and if you guys are wondering what other christmas unlocks rockstar games have released over the years that you guys might have unlocked for your characters already i'll leave a link to the full christmas playlist down below in the comment section where like i said you guys can find all of the content from the rare sweaters, cars, masks, plus much more. 
And like I said, I will be sure to keep you guys up to date if we do hear any more leaks to do with the brand new December DLC. However, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.